if you went on a date with a girl and at the end of that date she said she's not interested in you romantically would you not pay her part of the bill the politically correct answer mm-hmm. is that you pay for her and you never see her again but the real nigga answer is you okay welcome back to the mob jazz podcast i'm melvin the voice and we are joined by sure <laughs> 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 the one and only zaga you know Bilo. this you Bro. know this wa oh, go and there listen cha, listen cha. listen listen <laughs> we had to re- we had to run that back nah, man guys but yeah. i thought this was muchivi man we had to run that back though listen literally <laughs> man, literally literally <laughs> yeah today uh jesse can't be here with us um he had to make a, a quick trip out of town but we found another guy with dreads man you know this Come we on. found another dread head, with longer man. dreads bro. longer dreads bro <laughs> Jesse, you need to cash and up nicer fits <laughs> yeah, nicer yeah, fits yeah, more muscles good, shoes yeah, bro clean, bro <laughs> <Other> <laughs> shoes <Come on. laughs> we found Musisi 2.0 bro Musisi <laughs> after the music blows up bro <laughs> <Come> we <laughs> go man you know this bro what's good bro <sighs> bro it has been long my bro it really it has, has been long it really has thank you for coming back no problem you know you're you're my guys yeah man literally every time we see you are like bro when are you coming back when is the next time it has been like uh, three years in the making. Literally, man. This is thing? it? It it's has, bro. Three it's years. almost a minute, man. Wow. Almost four. It's been a minute. It's yeah, been to a be minute. fair, it's been long. It's been long. Yeah. yeah. Listen, bro. There's so much to get into, but usually now, our custom here is to start with just checking in on how guys are doing, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I get you, how bro. you feeling, bro? Like, how's your mental health? How's your week been? Man. Like, bro, where we at, man? Eh, bro, you know it. Eh? The truth is right now I think everybody is not kawa. Mm. Everyone is not kawa like mm. the world is not kawa man. Mm. The world is really not kawa. But for me as me uh I just keep it pushing man. I keep going, I keep fighting. You know, but I know like the world man people are not okay right now bro. Eh, everyone is suffering. Everyone. Bro, I hear that. Bro. Everyone. Yeah. I hear that. Same 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 same. Boy, how are you bro? How's your week? Things are not kawa. Things are not kawa. The week has been okay. Um I mean outside of Tuesday, mm. there's been a very, very normal work week. Mm. Uh stressful, tiresome. But Tuesday went for an event that was fire. Yes, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tuesday we went for Dennis and that Malcolm guys. Shout like, out, shout out. They were launching an EP. Big up two piece. Two, uh, Gucci two piece, Gucci two three piece. hot songs. Oh my bro. god, bro! Uh, big three hot Fuego. songs. Big, uh, big Fuego, Fuego. You know Dennis is my guy, also. Yeah, shout mm. out Dennis, man. Dennis is my guy, man. And uh, they they blended their their like styles. Yeah, no, they not even just the styles. They blended the listening party with like as if a fashion show on the lo- well, like. and an mm. auction. Mm. So the the music is called Gucci two piece, and they were selling like a two piece suit. Oh shit. It was and like a, a real life thing. A bro, proper mm. man. And this mm. guy, like, was, the whole time the music Cheap is playing, threat. there's some guy walking <laughs> around in a suit that they are going to sell, bro. Ah, it was so cool. No, it was but, cold. Uh, it was cold. Dennis is always creative, man. Shout out my bro. Shout he out always Dennis, calls bro. me even, and he, you know, he tries to encourage me. Dennis mm. is like the glue in like the new music industry, bro. Mm. I'm the guy is the one who keeps everyone together, I'm man. He keeps checking on guys, trying to see how guys are feeling. Mm. That's a real nigga right there, man. For real, man. Mm. For and real. we have a show uh, on 13th. Yes, yeah, yeah. border stage party. Man. Yeah, man. Pull up. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. Check our Instagram uh, story for details on that on the event yeah. we're talking about. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, Windek, how are you, man? I'm good, bro. What up, what up? What up? Yeah. You guys, you were talking about the weekend. Yeah. Right? The yeah. week, man. <laughs> just, <laughs> just the, the, the weekend. Just 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 anyway, yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. You know? I don't think uh, I've had a lot going on my in my week. Yeah, it's just a regular same old regular week, so yeah. You just keep me. I have nothing interesting yeah, to say. Hard bro, hard. Yeah. Now bro, on my end, this has actually been a really big week for me, man. Uh I've been back in like the planning phase. Just trying to like adjust the campus a bit, man. You know the I first know. quarter has ended, now it's second quarter, I trying know. to see like the, the errors that we made. Yeah, exactly, bro. Streamlined. Reviewing like the the resolution, seeing how we can course correct, I get you. put things back in place, man. Just trying to trying to zone in again, bro. Like I, get I feel like I'm on the in, same man. thing. Yeah, you know, I feel like I'm it's very easy thing. to lose track, bro. Like the year can just boom, and next thing you know, yeah, it's like yeah. August and you 
You're scrambling. Bruh, I don't know ab- about you, but man, this year eh, the weeks it's like a booming, eh, bro. Yeah, the weeks yeah. are going like <laughs> Monday starts. Next thing you know, we're outside on Friday. <laughs> for me, the craziest <laughs> thing is that the past two weeks and next week have all been four-day working Can weeks, you bro. Can you mm. imagine? Oh yeah, as in three-day weekends. Wait, wait. Next week is Eid. Next week is it, but maybe in the middle of the week, it'll still be a four day. It's like in another, yeah, sure. like Heroes Day or Matters Day yeah. or something. We are always having day. public holidays, man. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out our president. Shout out to him. <laughs> <laughs> <Big That's guys>. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the time goes, bro. Yeah, so, man, you're not careful, you guys. Mm. You end up in April mm. with, with nothing done at all. <laughs> or you Imagine would have forgotten the things that you did, bro. I know for one of those weeks, the. The public holiday is going to be on a Monday. Mm. That week is going to be pointless for a lot of people, bro. Mm. This week was difficult, bro. The public holiday is on a Monday this week. Where is Monday? There's a public holiday on Monday this week. Yeah, Easter Monday, Monday bro. Hey. There are so many yeah. you don't even <laughs> keep track. <laughs> oh, yeah, Easter Monday. Easter Monday, yeah. Yeah. Easter nah, Monday nah, for me, that was in the public holiday. I was working, the working this guy works in like an international company. Uh, no Easter days off. Easter yeah, is not a holiday. Let me tell you, Easter them, is not a holiday everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get you. Oh, maybe guy. one thing I forgot to talk about. Like, my channel finally got monetized. Oh, Easy. Bro, congrats, yes. man. Fire, fire, congrats, fire, bro. Fire, congrats, fire, congrats, fire. Congrats, congrats, yeah, congrats. Congrats. That's hard, bro. Wendy Five. Wendy Five. Go, go, go. Subscribe to Wendy Five Plus. Is it Wendy Five Plus? Sure. Wendy yeah. Five Plus, bro, on YouTube. Um, before we start. Just a reminder to subscribe to our Patreon. That should really push us, man. Right now, we're surviving off Patreon, bro. So if you want to support the pod in any way, just subscribe to our Patreon. It's $5 a month. <coughs> Magic was telling me yesterday that's like 17 bob, man, in Uganda shillings. <laughs> that's not even, that's less than that's not even two beers on Bandali, mm. bro. Yeah. That's like... <laughs> Why are guys mising? Yeah, man, that's like a beer and like a border home. Just support the, the boys. Don't <laughs> mind, bro. Support, support the boys. Support, support, support the culture. Um, yeah, man, let's get into it, bro. Where do we begin, man? Where do we begin? I guess well, maybe the audience, the guys who didn't watch the old episode, the guys might not know who you are. Maybe exactly. just reintroduce yourself. Exactly. To the, so, to the yeah, man, uh, Wagwan, my people, Wagwan. If you don't mm. know, they call me Zaga Zillions. Uh, I am a musician, I'm a songwriter. Uh, I love music, and music has been my entire life since, uh, since about uh, the age of seven, eight. It's my whole life. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else. To yeah, tell. listen, <laughs> from Kampala. I'm from uh, yeah, Born Kampala. And raised. I'm from Kisoro actually. Oh, hard, easy. easy. From yeah, Kisoro, yeah, man, South Side, Nyarun Caesar, stand up. Let's go. You know this. <laughs> Let's go. When's the last time you went to Kisoro? I went to Kisoro one time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> one time in my life. Hey. I went to Kisoro one time, and uh, my village is like. In a wild area, there okay. were even elephants on the road. That's what I remember. Okay. Oh, like one of those remote, villages. real, like it's on the border with Congo and Rwanda, like yeah. mm. where the forest is, yeah. the lions and all that stuff. <coughs> Would you be down to go back? Of course. I I love my culture, and I I really regret one thing. I regret in my life is mm. uh, is not learning my language uh, from home. It's a really lovely language, and I never learned. I speak yeah. English only. You know, I grew yeah. up in that Muzungu style. Mm. So that's something I regret. You but can yeah, still man. learn, bro. Ah, the old dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the new tricks are refused. Old dogs. Learn, <laughs> we need to take you to Kisoro and leave you <laughs> there for like a good month. Come on. Come on. Come back you know? fluent. You know yeah. this. I've been thinking about going back, going to Kisoro actually. Man. It's a beautiful place. Okay. Okay. Yes. Same. And they were telling me, bro, we should go to Kisoro one of these days. You yeah. know, they fixed the road. Back mm. in the day, it used to be a terrible road. Yeah. Now it's just beautiful, but it's like Switzerland. I need to go mm. there, bro. Yeah. I need to oh represent for my guys. I need to represent. Kisoro is a lovely district. Yeah, man. I want to hold you. Yeah, man. Um, you so, for those of you who don't know, this is the second time we're having Zagazillions on our podcast. Before it was on our old podcast. Uh, maybe the Patreons will get that episode. We might share that episode to the Patreons so they can see what it was like. But based on that episode, man, there's so much for us to get into today. Yeah, man. I think the first and most important topic of discussion. Is you going back to Swang? <laughs> How oh did man. that happen? Because from the last interview, bro, I would have never ever seen it coming. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, even me, I didn't see it coming at all. It was not in the plans at all, man. Like, it sort of just, it sort of just happened, you know. Like, anyway, for me, I feel like um, 
I was doing my own thing, yeah, and we're pushing our own music, and uh, we didn't even really understand the business side of anything. We're just singing our songs and putting them out and hoping for the best. And uh, I thank God that people appreciated uh, something. You know, they appreciated the Nilo, they appreciated what we had some chiller hit songs, you know, That's even without promoting anything. That's but That's you know, you reach a point where you, you, uh, you you don't know what you're doing like we already didn't know what we are doing but we're having results but now we are like we are now like real in the dark we need somebody to step in and and uh, and guide us and it's something that my pops was telling me like for a long time my pops was telling me like yo you need to go back to swans like these guys can help you mm. but for me i was yeah, you know yeah, yeah i was yeah, like yeah. nah man prideful nah, man. bro like, you get nah. it like, you, you guys it. didn't push my shit now i popped off and you want you me back get it so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, like, we reached a point, like, we're like, okay, man, Zach, you have done everything that I think you can do on your own. Why don't we, you know, why don't we get some help, you know? And that was, that was it. That was it. And Swang's, the door has always been open. We have a fantastic relationship there, so, mm. yeah, man. Shout so out to, what to what Swang's. did that conversation go like, though, bro? Like, you like walk back into that door with your tail be- between your legs, like man, I'm back. I <laughs> like the prodigal son, bro. <laughs> of course, uh, I was humble and yeah. I went to sit down. <laughs> you said I was humble, but <laughs> <laughs> to be humble. I had yeah. to be humble. We, I had a meeting with uh, <coughs> with Julius and yeah. uh, and Benon and uh, the other. There's another new guy they brought it's called Abasa. So no, no, shout out Abasa. Yeah, shout out Abasa. The so they are the three guys. So we had a meeting and. And uh, we just talked about everything, and you know, Julius. Um, Julius has always supported us and everything, so he was very open to us working again. And yeah, man, we are here. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Of and course, I sat, and the bosses grilled me. What they're like, course. Zach? Now, hey, you said Zach, this, you did this. We need to, <laughs> yeah, we need to fine tune the thing. But uh, th- they have always been supportive of me, and we thank God for that. Yeah, we thank God. What's the difference between like, I guess the songs that you remember when you were a kiddo and songs today? <laughs> the songs uh, when I was a kiddo, it's not like the one today. Yeah. Mm. Now the money has entered. Yeah, entered, the chart. <laughs> <laughs> entered the, chart. the money has entered, yeah. and uh, they have grown. They have grown. They have mm. grown. They are doing everything now. It's not just music. Mm. They do everything. Yeah. yeah. Nah, facts. Don't they also have a pod? Yeah, so they, do, they, do yeah, yeah they do everything. Yeah, they do everything. Yeah, forgotten his name. But they yeah. sell even soap. <laughs> so <laughs> what? They sell even yeah. soap. Like bathing soap, soap, liquid called? soap. Oh, do they sell soap? It's called swang. No, it's called something. It does everything. They do everything. Mm. Huh? It has grown. Like it has really, really grown. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, For fair. Real. Big up swangs, man. Hard, bro. Yeah, me. I I want to know something like you as an artist. Yeah, I want to know what are the pros and the cons of being under a record label. Uh, pros and cons. Okay. Yeah. Is so is Swang's a, a record label? You can also help us uh, understand that. Y- yeah, Swang's a r- record label. <coughs> okay. And it's like our biggest label here, to be very honest. Mm. Um, and uh, pros and cons. Uh, of course, the pros, we have more outreach. We have more resource. We have more, uh, more people willing to help. We have a team. Uh, more of everything, <laughs> basically. But the cons... Um, we can talk about creative control. Maybe sometimes you you're used to doing your thing. You're mm. used to sing about uh, women and sex. What? Like now, me, I'm used to those things, and they want you to sing like some Baba Black Sheep type of <laughs> 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 encouraging music <laughs> for the radio, bro. So yeah. There's always that type of thing, but you you just try to find a middle ground. You know, yeah. Mm. Just try to um, find a middle ground. Well, that's confusing <coughs> to me because, like, you'll say they don't want you to sing about, um, like, like explicit lyrics. Yeah, that's what the people want. First, even tell us what the people want. Like, <coughs> even the other people on the label, like, the videos will be explicit. Yeah. Like, the other jazz will be explicit. It might be like hidden, hidden. Yeah, it'll be explicit, and they know that that's what moves. Yeah. So I don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't let you just go, man. <sighs> anyway, they also like. Every artist, like, they come up with, like, a plan for you. And, yeah. you know, like, there's certain, uh, 
like you have to go through with the plan you know and now for you you want to do your own thing jump, like jump, jump. you know so it's just about having trust in wh- the people who you work with and finding a middle ground mm. like don't lose yourself but also don't block your blessing yeah you get me because mm. man all, sometimes artists we are our own worst enemies you mm. know we think mm. we know everything we we are used to doing things our way. No one can tell us anything. We are the baddest. We no one chat to me. You get me. So you have to to uh, to humble yourself. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> no, I like it. I like that. Yeah, that. Do, do you also have to do? Because I know record labels always have like their own like more event type thing. So for example, yeah. Swangs has that rust and rhyme yeah. and uh, uh, where people sing yeah stuff do you also have to be there like is it compulsory um i don't think it is compulsory but uh like the other rust and rhyme they they put me there just to promote myself and stuff but it's also not a bad thing you know also a lot of us artists um we we are neglected on the show circuit mm. eh? now especially the new wave type of artists like me is a gazillion we are we have popular music, but we are not necessarily on the show circuit. So those things of songs putting you on their show, it's not a bad thing. Mm. It's all. a very good thing, actually, yeah, man. It's a very good thing. You go and wow the crowd, you know. That's how me, I see it. Anyway. And can you create, um, not create, curate your own show? Like how? And uh, um, What's the thing where people sing? I've forgotten, but it's a songs thing. That's too roasted. Oh, uh, there's another one. That's a conversation. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Conversation. That one, that one. Yeah. Like what? I create my own. Like you curate your own show. Like it's under that, but like this, 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 this one has your touch. Like you decide of exactly course. what happens. I mean, if that's what your heart desires, of course, like mm. uh, it can be done. Like mm. if I reach <laughs> that stage and I be like, okay, uh, Ben and Julius, I want to, you know, mm. I want to do like this. We can talk about it. Like <laughs> we can talk about it. Mm. But I, I've not yet reached that stage. Oh, <laughs> oh no, uh, man. <laughs> speaking of stage, yeah. uh, when 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 does the record label feel like you're ready to have a concert? Because I've seen multiple concerts, like for Azawi and Winnie Nwaji. Yeah. So, is there a certain level you're supposed to reach, or a certain number of songs you're supposed to be having in your catalog to be able to get a full, you know, to get a concert? Yeah, a concert. Yeah. Um, Winnie is also songs. Winnie, yeah, Winnie Nwaji. Oh. Yes, yes, yeah. she is. Um, I don't know. You know, those things of concert is tricky. Um, I feel like if you, I- it's not really about the company or it's like you yourself. Like, uh, have you penetrated like to that, to that? Le- can you pull it off? Mm, you know, like the market. Can you pull it off? Yeah. Maybe not even have you penetrated, but can you pull it off? Mm. You know, can you pull it? Of course, if you can pull it off. They can get behind you. And those things of shows, even me, I, well, I've talked to Julius about them, like, they are doable. Mm? It's very doable. Like, even me, we want to do Sumbi Vibes uh, uh, release party, mm. concerts, mm. like at National Theatre or something. It's all doable. Mm. Even him was telling me, like, I can call the guy right now. Yeah. <laughs> and we, and we go up. tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get me? So, these things are doable. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. This is like the... Most mature version of you. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to Zaga We are the having a same on. conversation. <laughs> Zaga's a man, not the boy. Bro. Come on. Yeah, 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 Zaga. Yeah, I, but yeah, let's, yeah. let's first, let's first give you some space on the swangs thing before we, before we get you in man. problems, man. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. uh, why is it, where are things at now with the rest of the homies, bro? Like, Mark Mick, <sighs> your other Sumbi vibes boys, man. Where man. are things at with those guys now? Because yeah, I imagine man. it wasn't easy when you told them, bro. I'm going back. Y- you know, it's crazy. Is like uh, even before this whole swangs thing, like uh, me and all my my guys, we all fell out. Like all of us, we all fell out, man. It was crazy. Like me and G and and the music, we all just started fighting with each other. Damn. But uh, I, I don't know. Like uh, Mark was actually the only one who stayed with me. Like after all of those things, Mark stayed down. But. Uh, Anyway, we we move past that thing. Like, you know the issue that we are having. I feel like everyone wanted to be to be like uh, the quarterback. Everyone wanna be the the striker. Oh. You know, there is already a striker. <laughs> <laughs> there is already a quarterback. You you can't 
you can't fight that thing you yeah. know like mm. you, you need to find a way to support him to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, play yeah. your position so we're having that conflict and stuff man on whose position and is uh, which and we all fell out man and it was really crazy man like i was really hurt me i was so hurt man because g was like my my dr dre you know i don't know if you know lg i'm saying course, yeah, lg course, lg course. produced all my songs lg did everything for me <coughs> and uh, g was like my dr dre you know so for me i was so hurt man like I couldn't even believe this, bro. I couldn't believe, like, my money got stamp- turned on me. Like, yeah, <laughs> shit, bro. shit broke my heart. But anyway, like, after a year, this happened, like, in 20, the end of uh, 2021. Then, like, after a year, uh, after a year of everyone not speaking to each other and stuff, like, man, everyone just came back together. You get me? Like, yeah, so he just like, pulled why? up on me one yeah. day. Like, <laughs> you know, he came to my home and... Uh, and uh, and just talked and uh, mark stayed with me the whole time mark was the only one who stayed like they know he was also part of that fight no no like mark uh, he didn't get involved so much in the okay, fight okay, he was okay. the only one who stayed down mark uh, looks like me. such a pacifist mark is a real nigger by the way man and You're when fighting. i get some ah. some career money mark mick is going to be the first artist i sign officially mm. Eh? Mm. and i turn him into a superstar me i'll do it you know that's a real nigger right hard there. man hard 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 but uh yeah, like after a year of everyone not talking, like everyone just came back together, man. Everyone came back together and and saw water under the bridge. I even saw G today, you know. Hard, we are all hard, together. We are all together again. Those things happen. Those things happen. For sure, man. Yeah. But the fact that you guys got over it is so important, bro. Yeah. It took it a long time. It can go either way, man. It took a long time, you know. And G has produced my biggest, uh, my biggest songs, you know. No, uh, I mean, Nilo is produced by... Uh, another brother of mine is called Samiris, but G produced like uh, it is big. G produced busy Bo- busy body is even bigger than Nairo on Spotify. Mm. Uh, so yeah, man, like I needed the boys back together, and I thank God the boys are back together, man. I want us to shine because I feel like we split up at the wrong time. We had more to do, you know. We're also our own group, and we we were lifting each other yeah, up. Man. Yeah, yeah, we're stronger yeah, yeah. together. And you had traction, yeah. man. <laughs> you know, we had traction, like yeah. you know. So I, I be there thinking, man, I'm like, man, the boys never reached our full potential. You get me? The boys have not re- yet reached their full potential. But I'm working on it. Like, I'm, I be thinking about this all the time. I'm working on it. But it's important to have that fight now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than later. Later <laughs> on when, like, everyone really, really is pushing now their own thing alone, bro. Guys will never make up. Bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And even me, I thought guys were never going to make up, actually. Well, yeah, I, given really, a I really thought, like, damn. It's a rap. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. But uh, I thank God all the boys are back together. And G's my guy. G's, G was like my best friend. You know? G was my best friend, in fact. You live in music. He was my best friend. Yeah. You know, that's why it hurt me so much. But uh, I thank God we are back together. Nah, amen. Yeah, da, 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 da. Shout out to LG. Shout out Mark Mick. Shout out you know. and the music. And the music. Shout out all the know? guys. And I think be vibes, man. vibes, bro. You know this. Yeah, bro. Um... Hi man, is there anything else music related we need to get into? I mean, uh, Sumi Vibes is still dropping. Is hey. it? Sumi Vibes is still dropping. Sumi Vibes, how many times have you changed Sumi Vibes, bro? Like, ah. I'm sure it's an album that you keep on changing. It's even no longer an album, it's <laughs> now an EP. Hey, it's now an EP. <laughs> cut it down now to an EP. You can thank uh, Swangs for that. Hey. <laughs> 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 said, uh, all this, all this vulgar, vulgar yeah, jazz. You get can the trophy. Swans, what the cover? What get the statue? Yeah, 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 you can thank Swangs for that. Finished. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, Sumbi Vibes, the EP, bro. I have high high hopes for this thing, man. Like, yeah. I put a lot of work in, and I'm still putting in a lot of work. And, and uh, yeah, man, like, me, I feel like, uh, as a Gazillions, I'm like a founding father in uh, urban music of Uganda, you know? And I feel like Sumbi Vibes is going to be, like, you know, that stamp that right there, you know, for for this thing that, like when they talk about my music they just bring that thing up because a lot of people think that i just sing dance hall i just sing uh, you know they don't understand like they really don't get it like i'm a founding father of this thing you know mm. if you talk urban music new wave what this is the new wave come on hey, this you're looking at it <laughs> you know i did this shit I like, like for it, all I of like them it. Yeah. you get me so i need to come and claim also my peace rightfully because I'm like the grandfather of all of these uh, oh God, bro. these kids. I'm only 24, but 
it's I'm a grandfather of all these kids. You get me? So yeah, man, Sumbi vibes. Uh, to be fair, you started them. at like eight. So it makes yes. sense. Yes. This just that you just that should be like the intro to Sumbi vibes. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> just ask if you need the other stems if you need that. <laughs> Tell us what you We're need. Here, bro. We we'll have them. We got you. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it to you, bro. We'll give it to you. So yeah, man, I have a lot of high hopes for this Sumbi Vibes EP, man. Like, so much. We are putting in a lot. I have collabs from Randy's artists. I have collab from uh, all over the place, man, you know? Mm. Um, we're taking this to the globe, man. Hard, bro. We're taking this to the globe. Speaking of the new wave, bro, what are your thoughts on on where that is right now, bro? Like, what do you think the, is the trajectory of that wave? What do Particularly you think? in Uganda. I feel like yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I yeah. feel like it's beautiful. I feel like uh, like this is what needed to happen years ago. Like, okay, it's it's not even really happened, but I'm seeing like, you know, I feel like the old Ugandan music industry, we are like in the last days of that shit. Hard. We are in the last days hard, of it, hard, hard. you know? Those guys, they are, I don't sound uh, like I'm bashing them, but they are going extinct, mm. you know? And even the, the way people... For example, I live next to a bar where I stay. I stay next to a bar. So I hear, and it's a typical Ugandan bar. You get me? So I be hearing what these people turn up to and stuff. They still listen to the local music, but it's this this new music that what? makes them hey, excited. Hey, hey. What do you think that, that is? Them, you know? Like who? Like what? Like yeah, what like, like, of course, Baraka and... Uh, <coughs> and... Uh, there's another brother of mine. He's called JPC. Mm. JPC yeah. did this song, uh, Sugar, Sugar Mama. Mama. Me and JPC even have a bang. Very Come. hard. <laughs> yeah. You get ready for that. <laughs> I think it's gonna be super hard. That guy is really good. Uh, JPC, Baraka, um, uh, Bowman, uh, Banjo. Uh, um, there are so many guys. Mark, Mick, Il, G, Zagazilion. We are the fathers of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we are the fathers. Okay? But, but there I are so, 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 so like many. Uh, but also, my question is, why do you think that is? Like you said, um, the older, in quotes, the older music is getting extinct. Mm. Is it because the market is also growing up? So we are growing up with the artists we know and we appreciate or... Is it that music in Uganda has evolved and now people no longer want what used to be? I feel like it's the second point. Is music it? has evolved. Yeah. Music is evolving. People's ears are evolving. You know, I was listening to Dembe, uh, my, uh, our family driver, he always listens to Dembe FM. Dembe FM. It's his station. Mm. <laughs> and you know Dembe is, it's a local station. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. But they were playing Baraka. I'm like, <laughs> what? Let me tell you something. Like two years you ago, get me. Mm. when Nana had just popped off, mm. I was in Hoima, bro. And guys were playing it. Runoro Station. What? Yeah. Joshua Baraka was playing. Man. God damn. So, like, things are changing. You know, pe- things are really changing. And, and the audience in Uganda have felt like they have always been able to adapt. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That has always been there. But now, like, for real, especially with all these young kids growing up and stuff, like, Things are changing, man. Do you yeah, s- do you sometimes feel like TikTok has something to do with that? Uh, of course, it plays a role. Mm. Of course, and it's playing a very significant role. Mm. Um, Even in Uganda, definitely. Don't. Uh, for example, um, a lot of artists like they are having more traction, and these are new wave artists they're having more traction. True, true, true. Uh, on TikTok. Than any other app, yeah. uh, you you find like uh, boys. You can think he's a small boy until you check his TikTok. Mm, <laughs> yeah, mm, uh, mm. you're seeing all the engagement, all the what, all the. So it plays a role. It mm. plays a big role. Not uh, everything is on TikTok, but it's playing a very significant role. Sure. Bro. I really wonder how that translates because, um, for example, there's a guy. Um, I keep forgetting the name, but he's he's a Ugandan. Uh, you actually want to put me on like two weeks ago. Mm. And you go to TikTok, this guy's music, his page, there are a bunch of views. Mm. You go to Spotify, all the songs are less than like a thousand Yeah, plays. and you go to his Instagram, nothing. You go yeah. to, you know, so like, like how does it translate, man? Well, tic- there's nothing that accelerates like TikTok does, bro. Yeah. That, if the content crazy. is good, yeah. TikTok will put eyes on it and it will blow. That's nothing true. Accelerates like TikTok. I just wonder how it translates when it comes to like music. 
Mm. Yeah, like, I know it's good, like man. does it stay on TikTok or like if you pop if you pop off on TikTok now mm. you have Spotify, to really you, you have, have to, to like put results. more like I think anyway it can help you like if you really get like serious serious traction like mm. thousands of comments wide bitirichi mm. then you also in those comments you also post like a link towards your Spotify mm. it can help you kaizeize mm. but mm. not so so like Spotify also needs its own nini Instagram also needs its own nini like they all have their own you know mm. their own ninis I think the guys who translate for the most are the guys who the music now takes on a life of its own mm. Mm. like your music now becomes a sound Mm. That guys are doing a particular type of video for it becomes yeah. a trend. Yeah. True, true, that's true. when guys will be like, "Yo, what song is this?" Then they'll be like, hey "Man, I heard that song for the first time. The whole song." And that's what, what everyone is trying to do. That's yeah. what everyone is trying. Yeah, yeah but also TikTok has a way it makes songs like you will find someone like a song maybe having millions of views, mm. but then when people are only interested in a certain One part of that yeah. song, yeah. when people are not even giving a damn about the rest of the song. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it also has its own. Now I feel like that's a con. That's yeah. a con. Mm. You get me like people will know that like 45 second part but they listen to the whole song like 45 Ooh. that's too long yeah. like Ooh. 10 seconds yeah. hey? that's too long so you just need to over the part that's popping off it is in the middle of the song <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> that the beginning like, but <laughs> what like, is this cross part? that car 5 second 30 second <laughs> car barrier bro uh, mm. you know what i mean brown to keep it on uh on what we were just speaking about about uh like new wave music yeah new wave yeah How do you now feel about the gatekeeping shit because we had that discussion last time? Yeah. Do you feel like that the gatekeepers have said okay now it's time for the new wave or do you feel like the new wave is happening like despite the, the gatekeepers? gatekeepers. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like gatekeepers are still around but things are happening regardless. Okay. Like like these guys they are like okay for example our industry is still being uh, handled like in terms of events and uh, endorsements and significant uh, <coughs> monetary Business, things yeah. are being handled by old people still okay it's still handled by the judges okay but uh, but uh, like regardless of them like having 100% control and uh, they still dictate who gets the deal and everything like you still find like me, people like me we still get shows like in Rwanda we still get like big opportunities we still get like you know like these boys are still having traction you get me so it's not like significant like how it would be if these judges were also in on it but we are still moving you know but we need to 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 get to the point where these judges are also supporting us and uh, they are they are they are champion they are champ- championing us you know like uh, energy for example energy is doing very well for for young people for young artists for young people in general that is a youth led station that's true you and know? i think that's the thing youth led is the keyword yeah because yeah. it's very tough for um an older person who is gatekeeping in the industry to understand exactly because i think they speak mostly monetary terms yeah so they have to see the money the they are business really, people yeah you know and in business um Like typical businessmen like when the businessman is not seeing any mm, any mm. money it means the business has failed yeah you know but they don't understand like music is slightly different okay music is really deep and that's another convo for you. its own day <laughs> yeah you know the business of music just because you haven't made monetary nini at that instant doesn't mean that eh? you cannot make it mm. you know A lot of people are suffocated by that. The label feels like, "Oh, your international sound is not making money. Let us sing in Kuka. Mm. Eh? Mm. Let us sing Elian Skin." Eh? They don't get it. They they don't know that this has to be worked. Eh? This has to be pushed deliberately, mm. purposefully. Mm. Eh? And I also appreciate that a lot of the new wave guys are brave, man. Like they make what they want to make. Yeah. And it needs to be like that, like Yeah. I feel like uh, these gatekeepers they've kind of gatekept. They're, 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 they're suffocating us. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Even the music. Okay. They want us to sing uh, in Kuka. They want us like Do they actually tell you what to sing? No, no. Or can you okay, feel sometimes it? they 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 suggest they do like that but 
anyway, I don't blame them. Mm. Mm. They are from a different world. They are from that world of bebe. Those things worked for them. They made money off that stuff. Mm. What are you going to tell that guy? Mm. That's why I want to sing like Chris Brown. Nah, bro. Like anyway, but it's like a two-way street. Like we have to understand them, and they also have to understand us. Mm. You get me? That's how we get the best result. Uh, old people also need to stop this thing of uh, thinking young guys don't know anything. Mm, we are yeah, just true, excited true. and no, please listen to us also. Yeah, we can understand you and you also understand us. Because these gatekeepers, I feel like they are also useful. They are useful. Like when you're on the good side of the gatekeeper, that's when you see ah, like you're bathing. Mm. You get <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. But, uh, but you, you still feel like they <laughs> decide. You still feel like they they decide, but they they don't take responsibility for that power. As if yeah, yeah. Right now, they're just using that power for what mm. has been working. Yeah. But if they chose to use it to push the guys, the new guys, it would still make them money. They are afraid also. Okay. They are afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe what I can add to they that, you know, uh, for a record label to be popping, maybe I feel like it'd be having investors. Mm. And those investors want to see a return on their investment. So gambling around, like trying things, experimenting on new things, it may not be an actual thing to show exactly. to your investors. They're afraid. Yeah, so that's why maybe they would go for something which worked mm. instead of trying something which hasn't worked yet exactly. to see whether it will work. That's and the thing. That's the... Okay, that's where we also have to... Un- like now you're trying to understand them. Mm. Get and to be fair, I also get it because, I mean, if you think about it, I, I would assume that they do some sort of market research. Mm. And... I do not understand, I won't lie, I don't know how it understands with like, I mean how it works with like events, but with like the new wave artists, I would assume also a lot of the listeners and supporters are also young. Yeah. And we don't have the level of money as a market if we are young compared to like older guys. So maybe that also plays a role. Like we are giving back to the artists, but like how much? You know, all we can do is make noise and support. I, I don't know, but that's that's... That's what I would assume. Yeah. Nah. I disagree, That's what bro. I would assume. I disagree. Yeah. Okay, I, disagree I disagree completely, bro. Only mm-hmm. because all of the artists that these guys be bringing into the country, let's say, mm. the international acts, very rarely are they aiming at, at the guys at the top. Mm. Like the young people decide what's hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the young people are essentially what you should be aiming for. And yeah. I think it's what they aim for. Yeah. But they're just terrified of investing in the actual young people, bro. They prefer the young people being the market than the young people being the product. You definitely have a point. <laughs> but as I said again, I can't speak for events because I'm not too sure about that market. And I think that's like a one-off event. But like an artist here, I feel like that's different. I, in my head at least. Because an event, you're going to bring him for what? Four days, two days to the concert, one day after then they bounce. So... That's how I look at it. The events are catered Mike, actually Mike, for, Mike, the Mike, old Mike. For, 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 for the old guys. Is it how? Yeah. No, because like you said, like those things, are, it's kind of a one-off. Like they're going to bring a, a banner boy, then he goes. Mm. Then the rest of the time, they are going to bring a, a free go, bichi, bichi, what, mm. what. It's not always like eh, targeted towards the youth. Mm. So yeah, maybe the events guys feel like it's a loss. Because like it's not like every time these young kids are going to come and and in, maybe that's what they feel like. And nowadays there also a bunch of events that are just targeted to old guys, bro. Like which ones, guys? Me, I don't know. What events are you guys talking about? I don't know, man. Let me not. Let me not. Well, hold not you. I listen to UB40. Mm. What are we calling young kids? But <laughs> what are we calling young guys? <laughs> like, what's the what what's the age range for a young guy? Okay, okay, okay. So I I think when I'm talking, I'm I'm, I'm talking about like eighteen to like twenty eight. Mm. 18 to 28. That, okay. That's 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 what I'm, when that's I young. say like young guys will support, but they just don't have the money mm. to support the way they want to. Mm. That's the age range I'm talking about. What of course, if you go into the 30s, it's different. No, Those guys does, will pay a ticket to 500 bob. What does what does supporting how I want to mean though? Like, if if he decides to do a, a concert, and they tell me, let's say like the the national theatre thing he was joking about, mm. let's say he tells me 100 k. Am I not going to pay at 100k? No, 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 we'll go. But again, you know that's I mean? an event. Yeah. There's like a threshold that we're ready to pay. And yeah. if you capitalize on that threshold, yeah. 
you make some kaka again that's an event it's one off i mean like continuous support but i from feel like, like the gatekeeper the side on the, the market that's current i i feel like the way forward for most new wave artists uh please is to don't think that uganda is the end of the world mm. hmm? don't think that uganda is the end of the world wish for more eh? wish for more be like those boys those boys they perf- those nigerians they perform in their their country once a year mm. the rest mm. of the time is uh, in california you get me aspire such things you get it's possible it's not impossible mm. eh? where you and that's how artists are you tour like um, most of these artists like they survive off their catalog and they tour around the globe once a year you'll be 40 even he's still touring off his thing mm. you get me so it's not that man every show is going to be in U- ug no no i think that's a real question so <coughs> the question that answers i guess what we're disagreeing on is how do you support as a consumer outside of events because if a guy is going to put up a concert we'll go we'll pay the money and go but outside of an event mm. which is probably going to be like streaming well, like stuff. once a month if you're mob so like 12 yeah. outside of that how is it possible for ugandans to support a fellow ugandan artist here uh, apart from attending a concert we can talk about like the artist has maybe branded themselves in a way that they are selling items like merchandise mm. yeah mm. like he's ha- he has much is what support the match on top of that uh stream the artist mm. he- heavily please because there's a lot of money there hmm? on top of that let also the the endorsement companies mm. maybe uh give the youth a chance also oh, that's like a corporate the corporate side yeah, of it yeah that's yeah. how these artists that's how you be a, a well-rounded artist eh? you don't just depend on these people to come for your show no i mm. have endorsement money i have uh, streaming money i have merchandise money i have all type of money you get me so it just anyway the 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 thing that needs to be done is heavy support mm-hmm. okay. Um, very heavy support. You know, like when it comes to Ugandan artists, it feels like okay, most of their income comes from uh, concerts, mm. and then streaming is not something which really brings in a lot of money, because okay, it was so like it was so evident from what you no know, guys were like going through during the lockdown, because since guys were not having any concerts, they weren't getting any Had income. to listen to music. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and also you know in Uganda there has been this thing I don't know why it's which association which is trying to bring together mm. the artists mm. and uh, also to find ways how maybe they can bring in this copyright stuff mm. like you're not supposed to listen to music unless you, you buy it or something like that mm. I think until oh, sorry unless the government maybe enforces the copyright stuff like that copyright thing I don't feel like <coughs> streaming will be a very uh, lucrative source of income for artists no I, uh, people need to stop thinking that copyright is going to save them mm. yeah. They need to stop thinking that thing. Mm. That copyright is going to just wash all of our problems away. It is not. <laughs> it is not. You like get you me? will still... <laughs> Bro, like, for example, copyright. You're talking about royalties, bichi bichi. Like, mm. you guys, you don't even know, like, the splits that these people have with the, whichever people they are with already. You get me? Like, even if copyright law is passed... Mm. Uh, there are still artists who are signed in deals where it's for him he's getting 25% and company is getting the yeah, rest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So really, copyright has done what? And exactly. if, you, if, if you take it down to the bare minimum. the guy yeah. already owned it richer than he yeah. was before. Yeah. If, so you, if you tie it down to the bare minimum of the figure of one stream is this, mm. guys are getting cents. Yeah, they are cents. getting nuts. Getting peanuts. Oh. People think copyright is going to save them. They are totally brainwashed, man. Mm. They are totally brainwashed. Bro, no, no. okay, so you said that like Ugandan artists shouldn't shouldn't think that Uganda is the end all and be all, and you, you said this also before on yeah, the last point. Come on, you know this. But this is what I want to know, bro. So it's <laughs> like, is that your strategy? Like, uh, let's say, let's say Sumbi vibes drops. Mm. Would it be like your goal, your desire to now just ship yeah. the music abroad, like but just NSG do shows, type tour. You just do shows move. everywhere else? But yeah, yeah, yeah. that um, 
that has always been my goal you know like since i was a child i've always just wanted to be a world star it has never just been about uganda for me i want to go and perform in the apollo theater mm. i want to go o2 i want to go do all these things there and like many other artists also want to do and you should aspire please because these things are possible hey they are possible uganda is a it is just one country mm. hey it is one country that's even not going to pay you the most hmm? when you you know like the crazy thing about music uh music right now the beautiful thing about it right now you release your song and you are just loved all over mm. depending on uh, who picks up on it like now for me i released a song called busy body and and uh it picked up like in uh, eastern europe western europe poland like i was having serious freaking traction you get me there and that is what uh everyone should aspire those people in poland they are going to pay you that's why you need like, to be <laughs> they are and going to pay you money that you because they, these boys will never show you yeah, never is it ugandans yeah. there or those no, gays those things that is wise why is yeah. it Let's pull out my phone for <laughs> wall up <laughs> wall up dog <laughs> <laughs> I got some for you. No, I like that, man. I like that. You know, recently I saw a white singing a Ugandan song and even I didn't know the song, man. No, but also I did not know the song. I don't think it's only the white who kn- who found the song. I feel like that white is close to a Ugandan guy who taught me told him that I song. Oh, man, the internet oh, is Oh, maybe that song was <laughs> popping or was trending on like TikTok and this guy wanted to also jump to that trend. Just takes one guy yeah, and he goes to his, you know the one, one guy we're we listening to fresh music some for you, man. And uh, please you. please show us show us show yes. us. I have some for you. Now, these are people in Europe. These are white people eh, in Italy, in Poland, in uh, Germany. I got someone in Co- many people in Costa Rica. Mm. Eh? And do they do they like reach out to you personally? Yeah, man, this is so wild, bro. <laughs> they reach out to <laughs> me, so and I also wild. reach out to them. Easy, you know. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dancing vids. Anyway, the, the beautiful thing about this song, it, it kind of became like a dance class anthem. Yeah, mm. Mm. and these are all dance classes. Yeah. Bro. you show this guy. You need to see this thing. You know do? <laughs> when we post this, we'll just keep flipping through the different dance. You videos. need to see this thing. That's the what people need to aspire for. Hey, things like that. Any time I'm going to Poland they'll pay me the most money I've ever seen in my life. That should be the next goal, uh, man. You know? As soon as the EP drops, they Polish pay, way. They pay me the take the walk to Poland. Uh, like Yari. Yari oh, took the walk uh, to Poland. Somebody's dancing, uh, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Proper dancing. Okay, so I like, it, I like it, I like it. This these are the things I'm talking like man music like it can reach. It can. Like people that you've never even like now I never paid any sh- dime for these people to dance on my song. Mm. I never talked to them, you know. I never did anything. I just sang my song and I released it. And that's not always the case. Okay, sometimes you need to sing and promote and what bit bit but you get the point. Like let us aspire to go far. Hey, is Those that something you you think about while creating the art or does it happen after? You know the crazy thing is when we are creating the art, mm. we are like think about nothing except the art. Mm. True, true, true. true. Art, art. Like I'm just thinking about the music. I'm just in the studio. I love my vibe. Then whatever happens afterwards, God, we move. So God, you know. So yeah, man. We need to aspire like for us to to go far. You see like as the new wave anyway. I feel like we are going to get that chance like for real. There have already been people who have tried. People like Peter Miles, uh, Mose by the way, Peter Mars, like our first real international dance hall act in Kampala. We're talking facts now. Mm. Eh? Me, I saw Peter Mars on Big Brother in like in 2006. My parents always, always used to watch Big Brother. I used to be with them. I saw him there. Mm. There are people who have already walked for us a bit. Eh? So that now you, you see things like Baraka Wat, just phew, you get. Eh? So it's now our time. Young people is our time, and young people also let us not uh, beef each other. Like, don't feel jealous about nobody. Like, apparently, Mike, <laughs> to the, the top, the top, eh? yeah. man. This like thing. <laughs> you can hear him. <laughs> this thing, but uh, do it like this, like like this. this. Hey, yeah, yeah. man, yeah. <laughs> I've been. <laughs> he can tell you like, bro. I've been talking like this. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It helps. Me feel like 
Oof. My God. Easy, yeah, easy, yeah, easy. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Like, young young people, we need to. You're w- saying w- let's not be future. Yeah, let's not let's learn from the past, dog. Like people have already worked for us. Mm. Yeah, they've already worked for us, man. Like, now it's time to shine, like for real. Yeah, when I see young talented people, I just champion them, man. I just I've mm. done things for people that you'll never even know. They'll just talk about them when I die. They'll be like, yeah, Zaga <laughs> did give this. You Zaga did this. Zaga did this. Like, you get me? I'm the real grandfather, by the way. When I say that, it's for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you, you. you get me? Listen, <laughs> man. You brought up Joshua's name a couple of times, but maybe we should just talk about him. Yeah. What do you think of, like, his rise? I think that after, like... Let me, okay, let me not preempt your jazz. What do you think of like the rise of Josh, man? He's doing very well, man. And I'm proud of him. You know, I'm so proud of... Uh, when I see things like that, they just make me so happy. It just be like, yeah, man. Like, where was this like three years ago? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get me? Like, finally, you get... And definitely when I see him, I also see myself. Indeed. I see myself. Eh? Definitely I've inspired him, you know. Not in a bad way, not in a big-headed way. I'm just talking the, the facts, Okay. I see myself there and I feel so happy. I feel so happy when I see those things. Me and Baraka had a show even together. Mm, that that in, was the Kigali one. In Rwanda. Mm. You know? We had a show and we talked. We were even supposed to work. Uh, though we have not yet managed to work. Though definitely we will work. Mm. So when I see things like Baraka, Baraka performing uh, uh, all over the place, his song is doing well. Like It just it reinforces my belief. Like, yeah, man. Like, like yeah, like yeah, this is happening. Like, yeah, <laughs> like now yeah. let's move. Yeah, like this is possible, man. Yeah, let's go get you it. Know? It makes me so happy, and I'm very proud of him. And I wish him the best, the best. He has a brilliant manager. Shout true, out, Joe. Shout out the team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro. Before uh, before we release this music topic, man, there's something we need to address that I realized we didn't address in the last pod, man. <laughs> and I've been sent here with <laughs> strict orders. <laughs> <laughs> to address it at all costs. <laughs> we go, we go. I'm finished. Eh? We go. It's yeah. a woman problem. Right? Of course. Woman well, question. <laughs> not, in, not, in a, not in a way that you'd think, bro. I wanna know, man. Why did you say Jesse's mom's name? <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesse can't. Jesse couldn't address it for himself. I'm his advocate, man. I have to do this for my guy. Why? Jesse wants to know. The MJP community yeah. wants to know. <laughs> Why did you say Jesse's mom's name in that song, bro? Um, my guy looked pressed saying it, man. He was like, but man, why? He said it like twice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he doubled down on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, Jesse, first of all, forgive me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> forgive me. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> forgive me. Let me take off my glasses. Forgive me, man. But uh, um, why I said Jesse's mother's name is just like why I said all those other women's names. Yeah. I was just in a vibe. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just yeah, moving. I was just in a vibe, man. Like, y- you see, okay, another thing about my music, um, a beautiful thing about uh, Zagazidani's music, I kind of just, I, I say things that maybe people fear to say. Mm. <laughs> And I say them very confidently, <laughs> you know. So that was another instance where I did something like that, and uh, it worked. I, it worked. It and by the way, Jesse, man, don't beef me, man. <laughs> nah. point, I love you, Dad. <laughs> you because even in the last, by the time we did the last pod, that song had already come out. Yeah, but Jesse, he hesitated to ask <laughs> a question, man. Like yeah, there's no beef, by the way. No, no Jesse, I love you, bro. I love you, man. And I didn't mean any disrespect. Yeah. Um, it always kills me when we're out there and that song plays. Even yeah. like like he wants to vibe, but he's like, hmm. <laughs> Katrina ever bring it up with you? Did you ever say yeah, that, bro? she did. She told me one time, she was like, hey, Zach. You know, she's my friend. <laughs> yeah, we, you we, that. We, we, were, we were not in school together, but we knew each other. Uh. <clears throat> so she told me, like, what's wrong with you, man? Like, you know... But I was like, yo, I respected you. Like, <laughs> That's what you keep saying. Bro, the royal you get me. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. And, uh, no, but they are all cool, man. I go to gym with her bro. I always see her bro. We're always together. <laughs> you get. So, yeah, man. Like, it, it's, uh, I didn't mean any disrespect. Um, 
it's not in a bad way. Me, I'm a very funny person also. If you get to know me, like, for real, I'm very comedic. I'm very, like, you get me? That was just me doing that, you uh, know? So, Jesse, man, forgive me. I love you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, man. Uh, I think we should get into some questions. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Some definitely. questions and wrap it up. We have this segment on our show now where we just receive, like, questions from people. So... Zaga, feel free to answer. No problem. We go. <laughs> Let the people t- grill a nigger. Yeah. I mean, they're not necessarily grilling. It's personal questions. Oh yeah, these <laughs> are these are questions that people just send into Mob Jazz for us to answer for them. Okay. So it's not Zaga Zillion specific, but uh, we can still use your perspective, man. Very cool. Um, the first one. What does it take to feature on the Mob Jazz podcast? I just wanted to answer this one real quick because we get this one every week. Um. It depends. Now I actually invite guys to like our DMs to pitch. Sometimes we might be interested, sometimes we might not. If you're a creative like Zaga, we probably already know who you are and we will probably feature you eventually. But if you think that like there's something else we might be interested in, you can slide. Um, no hard feelings if we don't go for it. But yeah, man, whatever. Just slide, 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 slide. Okay, next question. If you went on a date with a girl, mm-hmm. and at the end of that date, she said she's not interested in you romantically, mm-hmm. would you not pay her part of the bill? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the first date. This is the first date? Yeah. Because now if you go the second date, But immediately she tells you, immediately, like at the end of she's like, bro, you know I don't what? think this can work. There is a politically correct answer. Nah, that then tell the truth. <laughs> then there's <laughs> the, the, the real answer. Give us both actually. Tell the truth. <laughs> okay. The politically correct answer... Mm-hmm. Is that you? You pay for her, and you never see her again. Uh huh. But the real nigga answer is you leave her there, <laughs> and you go back to your yard. You don't even pay your half of the bill. <laughs> you you don't you say you're going to the, the bathroom. Bill. Yeah. You call your border guy, <laughs> or you have a whip or whatever, and you and you just go. <laughs> you get out of here, dog. <laughs> love yourself. Don't be with women that don't love you. Yeah, man. Listen, I respect the answer, bro, but I don't know, man. Shut up, my dog, Steffi. I don't know. Yeah, man. I don't know, bro. But to be honest, man, this is a quick answer for me. Would you pay? I would, I would, I would. Would you pay? I would pay. The date was there, man. Yeah. You should have told me like I feel like That's different. But I feel like if at the end of the date, we're at a point where she that's something she can just say to me in my face, Mm. then maybe let's just split the bill, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's calm, man. Now let's split the bill. What if she you tells you she doesn't want to split the bill after telling you she don't like you? I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have to do? Yes, but also, <laughs> it's you who invited <laughs> her. <laughs> I thought we were going to be friends, but let's go yeah. Dutch. Yo, bro, but it's also you who invited her over uh, for a date. That's not always a given, bro. That's not always a given. But not for her, why is she speaking now? I think, yeah, because there has to be a reason. You bro. either wait or just early. Exactly. Don't just after the, like when Just from a tactical there. point of view, yeah. <laughs> it's an error on her part, bro. Because now something else has come yeah. into play. You are not being tactical. I'm also being tactical. No, like, like now say, yeah, let's split the bill then. <laughs> Since you made that error, let me also. You know? <laughs> Man, women are tough. When you show weakness, that's when she. Eh? She bites you. you by the neck. <laughs> 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 now what weakness have you shown? Yeah, yeah, nah, to go to be fair, that you can go half. <laughs> <laughs> now you think I was testing you. <laughs> I was testing you. I was testing the type of guy you are. But <laughs> if you think about it, saying it when you're still there is crazy. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Crazy. Like, what are you trying to prove to me right now, man? Like, couldn't you like wait 30 more like minutes? That? Ah. But you see, I feel like she says it uh, then that's the vibe that it has been like the date has maybe been too friendly yeah there's no chemistry she's like bro what's I don't a friendly date else. what's a friendly what a friendly date what's a friendly date i don't know man maybe when there's just no chemistry bro no mm. no sexual chemistry i feel like you know what i mean and you both know from that point ah bro we'll just be bad days let's split the bill i don't know and that's, anyway, that's a know. nice approach i never thought of it yeah, like let's that let's split the bill okay uh, 
It's going to be so funny when I spot you leaving a restaurant one day. Yeah, that would be like hilarious. <laughs> cool. yeah. you, can't even stop, you can't even stop to say bye to you, man. No one up to you. But again, yeah. I'll, like, I'll just, just give you a bong. Rushing, rushing, like, you know them ones. <laughs> uh, that's so funny, bro. That's you know so them funny. <laughs> All right, next, next question. If you walk into a place with your partner and she sees someone she messed with, uh-huh. must she tell you? Huh. That's a tricky one. Yep. She shouldn't tell you. Yeah. As you guys think, man, my answer is straightforward and direct, bro. Hell yeah. Tell me immediately, bro. I don't want to just be in a place where, like, there's another guy who was kind of like, who you had a thing with. You're chilling with a potential for him, he, man. Yeah, for him, he's, he's seeing me. No. Mm. Even if he's just a regular babe, bro. For him, he's seeing me. Mm. Yeah. He knows. Maybe for and you, you're mentally you tough. <laughs> you're very mentally <laughs> tough. You can, I'm 45 I mean, I, I, you I can handle. I want to. But no. for us who are a bit soft here, <laughs> like my brother said, I wouldn't want to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, me, I, I would want to know. know. I would want to know. I don't want to okay, know. what would you guys want to know? I feel like it would just piss me off, man. Like I would just go into it like She'll for me I'm vibe. easily like shifted. Like it's a uh, bad thing. Like uh, eh, I'll just go into a dark vibe, you know? It's supposed to be a happy vibe. Yeah. I read that at least you know. I guess me I would want to know, man. Me too, bro. I guess so your that's girl the knows guy. You. Right, cool. I guess your girl knows you, so she knows yeah. the type of guy. She wants, she knows if you want to hear it or not. Mm, mm, but for mm. me, I expect to hear it, bro, immediately. Yeah. Is, it, immediately. is it like one of those things where now, like, if it comes to say what up, you like deep in your voice? Because <laughs> I need to, <laughs> to know establish now, dominance. Yeah. I need to know. Mm. I need to know, like, so when he comes over, I need to know if he's moving disrespectful or if he's just a bad. We know how to act. Like, I want to know how to move, how to move around that particular guy. But mm. what if you also misinterpreted? Misinterpret what? Misinterpret his approach, and if you think that you're trying to. If it's a guy that my girl has messed with before, mm. and I'm no with her, and he comes and he like carries hands. And well, you know those things of Kampala, they, they like doing pissed. that shit, yeah. man. Yeah. I need to be pissed, bro. Yeah. They <laughs> like doing that shit of holding their ex. What? How are you? They laugh at the shoulder. I really don't like that noise. But the Kampala women, they're not easy. They can embarrass you, man. I need to know if it's appropriate for me to be angry. Or if I'm tripping. <coughs> you know what I mean? I know. And if she's already given me that information, I know it's right to be angry. But also, mm. don't tell me something like that and then he comes over and he carries you. I'll be like, mm. yo, what's up with <laughs> oh, you? Oh, you know, like, you know at Kalafta where they fall into the guy's chest. Like, oh, you're so fun. Yeah. Oh, 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 imagine like that. That's when oh, I become no, dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, imagine if she's the one that gets thirsty and goes and says what up to him. Yeah, Aye. that's mm, those babes bro. are embarrassing. No, no, I told no, you. No, 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 no. That's no. insane behavior. I told you. That's the same. Yeah. Love yourself. That night, Love you yourself. see this Jameson, but it can game from day. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mm. Even get another insane. one. <laughs> bro, hot, bro. Two. Bro. Get, get two. Yeah, actually, man. I actually have something which really grinds my gears. Come on. You know, like, <coughs> have you ever been in this situation whereby you, like, you see a body seated, like, alone, but next to her she has empty seats, and maybe you're, like, with your boys and you want more seats, and then you go up to her and you're, like, you're trying to be all polite and shit, and she's rude, thinking mm. like you're trying to hit on her. Have you ever met those chicks? Yeah, dead and rude. Worst combination. That's me, the worst. Terrible, bro. I think the thing is me, I just don't bother, man. Yeah. I become a coward. I yeah. just don't bother. Like, why go there? Yeah. But what if you need a, ch- like, need a seat? I like standing. No, but avoid man. arguments with Standing beds. is good for you. It burns calories. Avoid. <laughs> any yeah. If you don't mind cats. I saw. Eh? It's a black one. Let me first pray. You get. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black kid. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, <laughs> I man, so that whoever asked this question, what the panel is split, bro. Mm. Two guys say you should, two guys say you shouldn't. Uh. Um I right, 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 right. let's see, let's see, let's see. What's a controversial hill you choose to die on? Uh Wizkid is the greatest artist that has ever existed. I die there. I die you there. You know what? Yeah? Please. I die there. I die there. Interesting, interesting. I don't like when people talk bad about him also. Mm. <laughs> I want about greatest, there. but I'll agree for me. Yeah. In Africa. <laughs> I know he's not the most talented of all. I know Bana is talented. I get it. I get it. But he's the greatest. <laughs> I die there. I, I read that. I read that. I read that. Yeah. I respect it. I respect it. I was one of them super fans back in the day. One of them ones. Still am. Yeah. Still am, I won't lie. Even me. <laughs> I respect it. I, I think I had one in my brain. Literally yesterday, I think I was thinking of something controversial, but 
I think it charmed me. I think it charmed me. Yeah, you're trying, you're to, trying to not be controversial. Literally, bro. It, it has just failed to come back. <laughs> All right, it's almost time for Paul to do her thing. Uh, every weekend, every Friday here, this lady, Paul, does like an acoustic set. Oh. Um, cardamom and coffee every Friday at this time, which is like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. That's fire, man. Um, Paul does an acoustic set of different songs. That's So, fire. yeah, usually we try to like wrap it up before she begins. And today we have gone over time. No, 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 no. This is usually <laughs> what usually usually we yeah. do, bro. Perfect. Uh, this one's a bit crazy, bro, to end with, but I should say we might as well, man. We so sound check, so. So this guy says, guy, girl, I don't know, to each his own. But he says, I effed two prostitutes. <laughs> in a s- Let me change that. Let me change the wording. I slept with two Sex workers Little in sex a space worker. of 30 minutes, but ever since I ain't been at peace with my with my conscience. What should I do? I was tipsy, but I feel like I messed up my faith stuff. No, first of all, get tested. Second of all, grow a pair. Be a man. <laughs> Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. First of all, twice is crazy. If 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 you're saying I'm tipsy in thirty that, minutes, in thirty minutes, that that's not. Don't blame it on the alcohol. Man. I think I got that two for one combo. <laughs> he, was, he was going hard. <laughs> that guy went on double went double for happy hour. Like Wonder crust in a happy Thursday. Half hour. Man. Happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is crazy. Yeah, yeah that's I don't know, bro. I feel like your faith should be like maybe not the first thing you worry about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, like you said, bro. You need to get tested. You need to run to like Mary stops, bro. bro. Test. Get tested yeah. is a move, but listen, to each his own. Get tested. Go to church. After you forgive yourself. <laughs> Keep it that's pushing, a, that's a big thing. Forgive yourself, but, but yeah. don't, don't, do don't it blame again, it on man. the alcohol. Yeah. Also, don't do it again. Bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be responsible. Yeah. Man. You have one life. Love yourself, yeah. man. <laughs> Little what? sex workers. Little sex workers. Uh, shout out to fifty, 50. baby. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the thing they say on the road? We forget. <laughs> <We're fugue. laughs> Take care of yourself. Be responsible, man. All right, man. Let's uh, let's close this thing out. Zaga, do you have anything that you want to like let the audience know about? Yeah, man. Yo, everybody watching this, yo, shout out, big up yourself for supporting me. Um, even if you don't support me, if you hate me, big up yourself. I love you. You know, Sumbi vibes. This year we coming so hard. Everybody who's doubting, keep doubting. Yeah, we coming for them. Big up my dog. Big up everybody. Mob jazz. Let's eh? go. Big mob jazz and Zaga Z. This for life. Yes, sir. You Come get on, me? Man. This for life. Come on. Yeah, I love everybody. Cho, I'm a little yeah. gone. Don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bombshell, man. Africa Peace. must unite. Africa must unite. Let's go. Let's go. Peace.